It's fly day, and today we're looking at a small water favourite. It is the Flashback Damsel. The Damselfly is a fantastic small water pattern, even used often on large reservoirs. And this is just a little variant. Um, we've got rainbow bead in the head. This one's a size 8 hook, so I'm using quite a big tungsten bead. So 4mm tungsten bead. Olive marabou for the tail. Peacock crinkle. And just some wire. Now that's all you need to tie the whole pattern, right? Just going to get the wire in to start with. There is a reason for this. So just get that locked in place. Good. And you can back down there. Stick it in there, out the way. Right, now, big chunk of marabou. We want as much movement in that tail as possible. Let's peel that off so you've got all those ends. Just fold it and roll it. And we're just going to cut all those tag ends off. Right, now then. Pull a bit of that, it's easier to tie in. I'm just going to tie all them all the way up. The reason I tie it so far up the hook is just to make the body a nice chunky body. Right, now then, that's the tail. Get four strands of this. One, two, three, four. Right. And we're going to lay this over the top of the tail. Now the simplest way to tie this in, rather than try and chase it, bring it that side of the silk and just roll it underneath. And then that will actually put it on top. And you'll just, if you push your finger just on top, it'll just flatten them out. One, oops, one locking turn. And that's far easier than chasing it all the way around. There we go. So it's all flat on top. Now, I'm going to pull all these out the way. Because that's going to be on top of the body afterwards. Just lock them in place on the vise. So it's all kept out of the way. And then the body, you can use a load of different stuff for the body. But I'm actually going to be using the marabou again. When you spin marabou, there's a lot of movement in it. So the only thing is, all these bits there, we have to cut them off. So I'll cut all that, but we want the fluffy bits at the bottom. All right? Now then, what you do now, rotate and spin the ends of the marabou in. So we just dub them, or spin them, onto the silk. Get them all the way up there. One locking turn. Right now, spin the marabou to make like a dubbing rope. Right, and just get it in the back there. And then as you're bringing them up, don't worry about all these bits sticking out. Because the more bits, the more movement you have in the water. Just get that bead out of the way. Just keep on going. All the way up. There we go. Into place. And you can see all that movement. Now, tease all that out of the way. Get that over the top. There. Then, just lock it behind the bead. Trim off these bits. And then, just bring that wire. Now, I'm using gold wire. It's up to you. You could be using a different colour. You could use olive. If you wanted to put a little bit, be careful now, so you're not trapping too much of the marabou in. You could use red wire just to give you that little bit of contrast but it's there to protect 
that flash over the back come all the way up there we go and then right in behind the bead a couple of turns a lot of times when I'm when I'm tying um, damsels hang up get that off that wire is a bit tough Let's cut it off could use a red silk to put a hot spot in there but with a rainbow bead that's enough you don't want too much you don't want in the face of the fish whip finish behind the bead simple small water flashback damsel with a rainbow bead and you can see that flash all the way down the back and over the tail there and there's so much movement in the marrow in the body and in the tail it's a killer, honest. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that fly. If you did, tell your mates so they can enjoy it as well. And don't forget, we've got loads more videos here on our YouTube channel covering all different types of flies. We've got guest tires like that superstar Matthew Pate. Also, if you tie your own flies, do me a favor, send us a picture. You can post it on our Facebook page, HM Fly Fishing. You can also follow us on Twitter, HM Fly Fishing. And guess what? We're doing some stuff live as well on Periscope. See you again.